Hey there, amazing job smashing that workout. But before you call it a day, let's dive into one of the most crucial parts of your fitness routine, post-workout stretching. Whether you're lifting weights or doing cardio, stretching afterward can prevent injuries, improve your flexibility, and help your muscles recover faster. Stretching after a workout increases the effectiveness of your exercise session and helps your muscles become longer and stronger. Plus, it helps you avoid injuries by releasing tension and improving circulation throughout your body. One of the biggest benefits of post-workout stretching is injury prevention. Stretching improves the elasticity of your muscles and tendons, helping them handle the stress of future workouts. This reduces the risk of common injuries like strains, sprains, and even long-term joint pain. Not only does stretching help prevent injuries, but it also enhances your flexibility. Flexible muscles mean better range of motion and improved posture. Over time, this can lead to better balance, a more aligned spine, and fewer aches and pains from everyday activities. Now let's walk through a quick post-workout stretch routine that targets major muscle groups. Hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. Remember to breathe deeply and go a little deeper with each exhale. There are five stretching techniques you can do before you call it a day. Number one, side stretch. Reach up and over, stretching the sides of your torso. Let's start with the side stretch. Reach one arm up towards the ceiling and grab your wrist with the opposite hand. Now, gently bend your body to the side, creating a long line from your fingertips down to your toes. As you reach, focus on stretching through your side body, opening up your ribs, and lengthening your spine. This stretch targets your obliques, lats, and intercostal muscles. Great for improving flexibility and releasing tension after a workout. Remember to keep your knees soft and slightly bent to avoid straining your lower back. Hold for about 30 seconds on each side, and with each exhale, Reach a little further to deepen the stretch. Number two, quad stretch. Pull your heel toward your glutes, feeling the stretch in your thighs. Next, we'll stretch the quadriceps with the quad stretch. Stand tall and gently pull your ankle up toward your glutes, holding it with your hand. Make sure your knees stay close together and your hips remain aligned. This helps isolate the quad muscle. Feel the stretch through the front of your thigh. Engage your core and squeeze your glutes to get a deeper stretch and avoid arching your lower back. If you're struggling to balance, hold on to a wall or chair for support. This stretch helps reduce tightness in your quads, which can get worked heavily during squats, lunges, and running. Hold each side for about 30 seconds and breathe deeply into the stretch. Number three, hamstring stretch. Reach for your toes keeping your legs straight. Now let's stretch the hamstrings, the muscles running along the back of your thighs. Start by sitting or standing with your legs straight and slowly fold forward at your hips, reaching toward your toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Just go as far as you comfortably can. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings and even your calves. It's important to keep a slight bend in your knees if you feel tension in your lower back. With each exhale, try to fold a little deeper, but don't push too hard. This stretch improves flexibility in the hamstrings, reduces lower back pain, and is crucial for releasing tightness after any workout that involves running or heavy leg exercises. Hold for 30 seconds on each leg. Number four, hip opener. Sit in a sumo squat, pushing your knees outward. For the hip opener, let's move into a sumo squat position. Open your legs wide with your feet turned slightly outward and sit down into a deep squat. As you sink into the stretch, press your knees outward using your elbows. This will open up your hip flexors, inner thighs, and groin area. Keep your chest lifted and your back straight to maintain good posture. If you need to, adjust your position so that your feet feel comfortable on the ground and your heels stay down. This stretch is particularly beneficial for releasing tension in the hips, improving range of motion, and counteracting the effects of sitting for long periods. 
Hold for about 30 seconds and focus on slow, deep breaths. Number five, spinal twist. Cross one leg over the other and twist to the side. Finally, let's finish with a spinal twist to release your back. Lie flat on your back and bring one knee across your body while keeping the opposite arm extended out. Let your knee fall gently to the side as you twist your torso and look in the opposite direction. This stretch targets your spine, lower back, and glutes. Make sure both shoulders stay grounded on the mat and focus on keeping your twist controlled and gentle. With each exhale, allow yourself to sink deeper into the twist, feeling the tension melt away from your back. This stretch is perfect for relieving spinal tension and improving your overall spinal mobility. Hold for 30 seconds on each side, then slowly return to center. This provides an in-depth breakdown of each stretch, including the muscle groups targeted, tips for proper form, and the benefits of each move. The detailed instructions ensure your viewers understand both the technique and the importance of each stretch in enhancing flexibility and injury prevention. Remember, taking just 5 to 10 minutes to stretch after your workout can make a huge difference in your recovery and long-term progress. So don't skip it. Your body will thank you. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.